Seventh race, Claiming Pacers are on the track and pretty into the post, racing one mile. Purse of $1,900. A field of eight remain. The one horse has been scratched. Post time, nine minutes. Number two and coming from off the rail, Vice Speed, owned by Ken Valerian of Aurora, Ohio. Don Irvine Jr. trains and drives. Number three, Telephoto, owned by Barry Conrad of Canal Winchester and Mike Metters of Columbus. Mike Metters trains with Dave Miller. Four, Batlin Billy J. Mark Peskowski of Pennsylvania, Dave Cardacci on trains with Dave Hawk driving. Five, Simcoe Lane, owned, trained and driven by Bob Barnett of Cardington. The six, Star Colts, have been trained by Bill Carruthers of Kenton for Mike Wilder. Seven, Mr. Destiny, owned by Rhonda Stidham and Francis and Robert DeMay of Indianapolis. Rocky Stidham trains and drives. The eight, Champagne Cowboy, owned by Diane Elliott of Columbus. Dean Collins is the trainer driver. And the nine option package. What about the ace, some pace, some stables. Jeff Rector, Virgil Morgan, and Lisa Grubich of Ohio. Virgil Morgan Jr. trains. Brent Holland in the sulky. One play show trifecta. Twin trifecta wagering. Eight minutes. Seventh race. Claiming Pacers are on behind the gate. Of the gate swings into the back stretch. And there they go. They're off and a pacing Mr. Destiny from the outside. Far outside option package. Towards the inside, it's Vice Speed. And between horses, Bantlin, Billy J. Four-way battle here for the lead as they move into the first turn. And fifth at the rail, it's Telephoto. On the inside, two lengths and six, Simcoe Lane. Another three lengths, seventh. Star Colt, the early trailer of eighth, is Champagne Cowboy. Reaching the first quarter, and Vice Speed uses the inside to his advantage as he has a lead here, a half a length. Opening quarter, eight, brisk 27 and 4. And Mr. Destiny now to the outside. Mr. Destiny puts a nose in front, takes a lead, a half a length, but Vice Speed coming back to the inside. He won't give it up. Option package with live cover to the outside, but he's been parked every stump. He's third. At the rail, Bantlin Billy J is fourth. And now Telephoto joins the outer flow fifth. He's followed sixth by Simcoe Lane as they reach the half. 57 seconds flat to the back stretch. Out of the outside, it's Mr. Destiny. Vice Speed still there on the inside. Batlin Billy J getting a perfect trip here at the rail. He is covered up nicely. Option package to the outside. He is gapping cover fourth. Here comes Telephoto launching his attack. He's now three wide, tightly packed here. And Star Colt coming from far back. As they race into the final turn, they're three across and vice speed. Now a new challenger at hand. Here comes Telephoto. Three quarters, 126 and three. And now these two are going at it. Vice speed to the inside and Telephoto to the outside. Side. Star Colt is third, but is off stride. Batlin Billy J at the rail. Lost it an eighth and down the stretch. And it's still Telephoto and still Vice Speed. And these two are still going at it head for head. Telephoto on the outside. Vice Speed on the inside. Telephoto by a nose. Vice Speed right back. And that is very tight for that win between the two and the three. Too tight to call. The mile in 156 and two. The winner, number three, Telephoto, seven year old Ohio bred son of Sydney Hill from the Race Time Air Light Ship, owned by Barry Conrad of Canal Winchester, Mike Metters of Columbus, Mike Metters Trains, Dave Miller and the Sulky. First win of the season for the seven year old Pacer, the mile 156, and a two fifth.